Hi, this is Vasvi from At Home. In this video, we are going to learn about the SAS similarity theorem. It may look similar to that of SAS uh, congruency uh, theorem, right? But actually here, in congruency theorem, I repeatedly say the sides are congruent, but in the similarity theorem, the sides are just proportional, okay? So let's see what this theorem says. SAS theorem. If one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of another triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. To prove this, first let us write what is given and uh, what to prove. Given one angle is congruent, right? So let us take angle A is equal to angle D, okay? the big triangle. I, I, I'm talking about the triangles ABC and triangle DEF. Okay. So here it is given that one angle is equal. So I've taken angle A and angle D equal and they say the sides including these angles, right? So the sides including these angles are proportional. So also this and the sides including the, in these angles are AB and the corresponding angle over there would be uh, DE, right? DE is equal to AC over DF, okay? This is what is given and you need to prove, uh, so to prove the triangles are similar, right? These two triangles are similar. <clears throat> so triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. This is what we got to prove. First I make some construction. Okay. So I would draw a line PQ. This line PQ is the construction which I did. So I have drawn a line PQ. Uh, such that your AP, uh, I mean AB is equal to your DP, okay? These two sides are similar and these two sides AC and DQ are similar, okay? So I write the construction here, draw PQ such that your AB is equal to DP. And your AC is equal to DF. Okay. So this is the construction I have made. Now since you have two sides congruent and this angle same. Okay. Angle A and angle D same. Right. So I can say that implies that triangle ABC. The small triangle ABC and the triangle, the small triangle on DEF, that is triangle DPQ are congruent, not similar, okay? They are congruent because they have one common angle, I mean one uh, similar angle and the corresponding two sides are same. So this is by, the reason is by SAS congruency, not similarity. This is congruency. The sides are congruent, right? So it is congruency theorem. Okay, by SAS congruency, I can say that they are uh, congruent. If they are congruent, then I can, this implies angle A is equal to angle D that is already given. Now I can also say that my angle B is equal to angle P and angle C is equal to angle Q, right? This is because in two congruent angles, uh, you have all the angles same, right? The corresponding angles are same. So I can give the reason CPCT, okay? Corresponding part of the congruent triangles. Okay. Now... Okay, let, let this be equation 1, okay? I just leave it as 1. Now, uh, let me take 
the given uh, proportionate sides okay this side these sides i'm taking so given a b over d e equals a c over d f right this is given so i can write this rewrite this as instead of a b i can write uh, d p right because uh, we know that a b and d p are same so i just replace my a b with d p over d e okay is equal to this side it is d q your a c is equal to d q d q over d f okay i do this because for all the steps you need to give the reasons because a b is equal to d p and a c is equal to d q okay and this is the reason i just replaced it now what i do is i am going to flip this okay flipping this i get d e over d p equals to d f over d q okay now i subtract one from both sides okay i would get d e over d p minus 1 equals d f over d q minus 1 so this i can write it as this minus 1 i write it as d p by d p in the left hand side because my denominator is dp okay this is dp right so i write this one also as dp over dp okay and this side on my right it is dq over dq because the denominator is this is f divided by dq minus dq over dq okay so from when i minus this this would give me dp over this will give me like a uh, de minus dp just look at the picture de minus dp is pe right so i would get pe over the left hand side it is de minus dp that is pe over dp equals this side it is qf over dq since these two sides are in proportion okay you get dp by pe dp over pe is equal to dq over qf since uh, dp over pe is equal to dq over qf i can say that pq the line pq is parallel to ef right the third side ef for this i used the basic proportionality theorem okay bpt now since these two sides are parallel the angles p will be equal to angle e and angle q will be equal to angle f right because they are corresponding angles of parallel lines so corresponding angles of parallel lines are equal because they are corresponding angles okay did you get this i take this as equation 2 but in our equation 1 we have already proved that angle b is equal to angle p and angle c is equal to angle q but here in equation 2 we say p is equal to e and q is equal to angle f right so i can say i can conclude from 1 and 2 it is clear that angle b is equal to angle e and also okay i can also write like this angle e b is equal to angle p which is equal to angle e so that implies that angle b is equal to angle e right similarly i can say angle c is equal to already we had angle c is equal to angle q and now we have proved angle q is angle f so that means angle c is also equal to angle f got it so since the other two angles are also equal as per the aa criteria i can say that triangle abc is similar to triangle 
D E F. Okay. Here I have used angle angle similarity postulate. So hence we proved that the triangles are similar. Okay. Hope you all understood this. Thank you.